the thing that I didn't expect to happen was, yes, you guys guessed it. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we are going over the fact that I am most likely selling one of my cars. I know this is kind of out of the blue, but I will explain everything in today's video, and so yeah, let's just get right into it. First off, uh, this is broken, so like that whole area is flooded, and it's kind of going down, but don't worry, there's a drain down there, so it's completely fine, but my normal filming area is kind of... Uh, flooded all over the place so I kind of have to like tiptoe around here because well of course we always have to we always have to rock the turtle flip-flops but then also we don't want to like go through the puddle so we gotta we gotta kind of like go around Ooh. okay we have officially we have officially made it over to the main part of the driveway first off this is a 2021 Nissan GTR it is obviously not mine you guys can see the Tennessee manufacturer plates this is a press car from Nissan and this is actually going to come into play quite a bit with today's video but this right here is one of my cars it is a 2021 Ram 1500 T-Rex I got it back in February this year I've had an absolute blast with it, but that's the first vehicle that I own. Well, now I gotta traverse the uh, water again, so we gotta figure this out. Doo -doo -doo. Ah! Okay, we made it out. We made it out alive. And, um, well, now we've gotta walk down this path right here. This is always, oh, I totally tripped. This is always fun going from one driveway to the other because it's like a little adventure through the forest every single time. And I mean, I mean, it gets me good exercise as well. So we have officially made it and We've got the Focus. So this is the second car that I own currently. It is a 2017 Ford Focus RS. And I literally bought this just about two-ish months ago, roughly. And you guys can probably tell by the amount of, well, it's, it's dust and like pollen mixed together that I have not driven this car in quite some time. And that is the issue in today's video. Ooh, another tangential journey because we've got good old Zorro here. What's up, little puppy? Do you have anything that you'd like to say to the viewers? Do you have anything? Nope, he's just tired sitting in the heat. Okay, well, but let's actually get into it now. Okay, so walking back to the other driveway because that one's on the main road. This one is on the side road, and so this one is always better to film because there's less noise and less people, and, well, obviously I need to get my steps in for today. But here is the problem with the Ford Focus RS. So I bought that car roughly uh, two months ago, like I said. And the reason that I bought the Ford Focus RS was to have a commuter car that I could drive around and have fun with while the TRX was getting modifications. And on top of that, the TRX is absolutely massive. It doesn't fit in a lot of parking spaces. And because of the rack that I have on the back with the lights, it doesn't fit in parking garages. And I've mentioned this in past videos. That was the reason why I got the RS is all my filming I do in downtown Salt Lake. Sometimes I have to park in parking garages and well, if the TRX doesn't fit, then it doesn't work. And so the RS being small and all that kind of stuff allowed me to do that. And on top of that, right, this is a bright neon green truck. I have it wrapped that way for the channel so that it stands out on YouTube. But obviously going out in public with that truck, it gets quite a bit of attention. The RS, even though it's purple, nobody pays attention to it. Like some people that know what it is, they look at it and they freak out. But 99% of people, they don't even pay attention in the car. And so I can kind of fly under the radar, do my business, and nobody really bothers me. And so that was the reason why I got the car. But I didn't expect something to happen. Well, the thing that I didn't expect to happen was, yes, you guys guessed it, the press cars. So obviously when I got the Ford Focus RS, I was getting press cars, but I was only getting about one a month. And I kind of thought that that was gonna be the norm that I'd get one a month or maybe two a month. And then that would be it. So it still makes sense to have the Focus RS as the commuter car to drive around. However, things have completely changed. I am literally gonna have a press car every single week, the entire summer. And after the summer, it'll probably continue and so now I'm not using the Focus RS at all. So the T-Rex, I'm still driving, still modifying it and all that kind of stuff. And it still makes sense for me to keep the T-Rex because it does so well on the channel. I mean, I literally had a video that I posted on the 15th of this month that on Facebook has absolutely blown up. It's made an obscene amount of money. And so like this truck just makes sense to keep. The Focus on the other hand, it doesn't really make a whole lot of money on the channel, but again, it had its use because it was the commuter car but since I'm going to have these vehicles every single week, I'm not going to be driving the Focus. And so 
it doesn't make sense for me to keep it anymore and so that's why I'm most likely gonna get rid of it. So I know that people get constantly frustrated with me because I'm always going through vehicles and then I say I'm gonna keep something and then I don't, but here's the deal. Being an automotive YouTuber, you have to be open to change and also being a business owner, you have to be open to change. If you're not open to change, then you become stagnant and you potentially get yourself in situations that just don't make sense because you're trying to hold fast for such a long period of time and that definitely stands true for running this automotive channel. So a few months ago, right, I didn't really want to get a commuter type car, but I said, okay, I've got to bite the bullet. I've got to get something because having this truck and driving it around was getting in the way of filming because again, people were constantly approaching me, which I'm completely fine with, but it gets to a certain point where it was getting in the way of me being able to perform my job. So I was like, okay, I need something that flies under the radar and that I can actually fit in parking garages so I can get more work done, which obviously means that I'll be able to make more money in the long run. And so then it made sense to buy the Focus. But now, right, things have completely switched to where I'm having something like this every single week of the year pretty much is what it looks like. And so it doesn't make sense to keep the focus, right? I could, again, hold fast and be like, no, I'm gonna keep the RS because I absolutely love the car. There's nothing wrong with it. It's an absolute blast. Every single time I drive it, I have so much fun with it. But the problem is I'm not driving it anymore. So at this point, it's like a $40,000 paperweight. And so, yeah, again, that's why I'm most likely gonna be getting rid of it is because its whole purpose has been completely, I get it just, it doesn't have a purpose anymore, really. So on top of the whole utility of the focus being completely gone at this point. I do have the new Ford Bronco coming in. I think that one will be in first. And then we've got the Gen 3 Raptor that I also ordered. And so I guess this will also technically make space for it, even though, again, that didn't really need to happen. I had already planned things out to where I could have the RS, have the TRX, have the Gen 3, and have the Bronco all at once. It was, it was gonna be absolute madness, but <laughs> I, I had already had it all scheduled out, and so I guess that this will technically just free up space for those, even though I didn't really need it in the first place. And so, yeah, I guess I'll mention that, because also people have been asking about the Bronco Bunch, like, yes, I still have a first edition on order. It should be built on the 28th of June is the last email that they gave me, and so I don't know when that means, or I don't know when it's gonna be at the dealership, but it should be built the 28th, so maybe I'll get it like a few weeks into July. I mean, we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's pretty much everything about the uh, Focus. And now we actually have to go do something with the Focus. Chee! And by do something with the Focus, we're taking the GTR out. So what I'm doing is I'm going and paying off the loan on the Focus. Now I know some of you might be confused because I said I was gonna pay cash for the Focus. Well, the same time that I was purchasing the Focus was the same exact time that I was having issues with the YouTube channel where YouTube wasn't recommending my content to people anymore. So I decided to instead finance the Focus and get that all figured out before I go and drop $40,000 on the car. And so yeah, that's why there's a loan on the Focus, but we're going and paying it off today. If you guys are wondering how much I owe, I literally have a balance of $1,000 because I've been throwing a ton of money at it every single month <laughs> since I bought it and going, okay, I. It's literally just been a matter of time. Like I just haven't had time to go to the bank. And so it's been like, okay, I'll go next month. I'll go next month. So I'm finally going because there's literally only a thousand dollars left. We're gonna go pay it off. And yeah, I just thought I'd explain that to you guys. But, uh, oh, and I guess that if you were wondering with the issues on YouTube, they initially got fixed where things kind of went back to normal, but then everything kind of started to drop again, just not at as drastic of a rate. So then I started to look at other channels. And if you guys don't know, every single channel across the board is getting less views right now. I'm still looking into it and figuring it out, but my best guess is the reason that views are going down is because the vaccine's out, so people are out doing things this summer, so they're not watching YouTube, so that's why views are down. But then on top of that, YouTube has recently added way more ads into the uh, just the whole system. Like There's advertisements on every single video now, and so I think people are watching less YouTube because they don't wanna watch the ads. And then on top of that, there is more competition, right? Every single day, someone decides to create a channel, and so then that adds to more competition, so then the channels that already exist right since they have to deal with that extra competition they get less views i think it's just like a multi-headed thing and i think that's why views are down literally every single channel if you look well not every single one there's a few channels that have gone up but almost every single channel if you look at them their views are down so i'm on my third tank of gas this week i don't know why but for some reason i keep running out of gas i, I don't think it's because of how i'm driving 
I just completely realized I just got home and I did not finish today's video. So yes, we went to the bank, we paid off the Focus, and then we got a valuation on the Focus, and this is pretty exciting. So if you guys don't remember, I bought the Focus just a couple months ago for $34,000 roughly, and then I had to put new brakes and everything on it. So then I ended up being in the car about 35 grand. Right now, the market value on the car is $38,000. So like, even though I had to put new rear brakes on the car, it's still gone up in value a couple thousand dollars because of the crazy market right now. So this is pretty much the perfect time to sell the RS if I do end up selling it, which I do have a couple people that want to buy it. So I'm not exactly sure who I'm going to end up selling it to. I mean, you're more than welcome to make an offer, but <laughs> there are a few people that are already interested, which is crazy because I haven't even posted this video yet. Um, but yeah, absolutely crazy day. I filmed two of the coolest Ram trucks ever. I'm super excited to post those reviews. You guys are going to absolutely love them. And then we did a comparison with this against my friend's NSX. Crazy, crazy video. That, that one's going to be another fun one as well. And yeah, I literally started filming today, I think at like... 11 o'clock and it's nine o'clock right now and now we're just finishing i mean that gives you guys just like i guess a general idea of how much time you have to put into youtube just from a filming perspective now i have to go and edit all these videos and everything and so i'll probably be up until like 4 a.m tonight but you know what it's worth it in the end anyways if you're stopping for the first time please subscribe comment down below what you think and i'll see all of you in the next video